Hey, Stamp Art Connection, StampArtConnection.com, Cat, Cat Chancellor here, hoping that you're joining me for a live stream. Well, I, um, I'm going to um, make a couple cards, and um, I'm hoping that you'll join me. Uh, so, I plan to make these cards right here using the Make a Splash stamp set which is a hostess gift that is available in the mini catalog now that catalog is open until June so you have time to uh, schedule a party but you only have till March 31st to take advantage of celebrations now they're still um, they're still sending out products at stamp at stamping up even though they just um, they did have a, an earthquake uh, today and uh, even based with the based uh, on the COVID-19, uh, they are still working, even though some of the uh, orders will take a little bit longer, but they're asking everyone to be, um, to be patient, which I think is pretty much what everyone has to do um, right about now. So, um, hey, um, hi, Beth. Um, thanks for joining me and let's uh let's just have a little fun tonight while we uh, put together this card it's not very very hard and the big surprise is it's a wobble card yes i love these wobble cards if you get my newsletter and if you don't please subscribe i talk about my program um give a smile make a card so I'm looking at making cards for um, kids that are in, in the hospital and for parents that have hospitalized kids so that they can have something that the, um, that the uh, nurses and the uh, uh, departments can kind of pass out to these families. So uh, if you need more information, it's on my Stamp Art Connection blog. Anyway, let's go ahead and, and make this... Uh, make this card it's not hard at all it's very easy and what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of whisper white so this is um what is this this is about uh 11 and um four and a quarter okay then we go ahead and we score it in the middle so we get this nice long long piece and then you're going to need a piece of um, Knight of Navy and this is a five and a fourth by four we're going to emboss that with this really neat um, embossing folder called uh, Seaside Texture Depression you may remember that and that is going to form kind of the base for our card. We're then going to stamp our little uh, fish bowl, and we're going to color that. I'm going to show you how to stamp and color the goldfish, and then we're going to do this neat background. And I'm just going to pull in for a minute because I think this is a really neat touch. And I kind of want you to see how, if you see, we have got some cute little bubbles there. So this is a really neat, neat card. Now, I didn't stamp the inside of this one, but this one I did stamp the inside of. Oh, no, I didn't. Let me show you. I made a shaker card, and see, there's a shaker card, and I stamped the inside of that, again, with another little fish, and says, just keep on swimming. Now, I created the outside of this by simply taking that same stamp, just keep on swimming, and um, using Smoky Slate, I just went ahead and stamped that entire front. Then I cut out this and with um, window sheet and voila, I have a shaker card. Here's another shaker card uh, using the same, kind of the, the same uh, uh, motif. Again, uh, just simply cutting out the shape of the fishbowl and putting some nice fancy um, shaker things in there that are that are let me see I use the um, I use the uh, woven threads because it's really got some pretty turquoise some nice colors in it and then if you look at the inside of this one it has the cute little goldfish that I colored and I'll show you how to do all this with the just keep on swimming really happy little happy little cards so that's what we're going for this card right here let me pull back out so you can see 
uh, what I'm trying to do. And then um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I do have this uh, stamp set, Tropical Chic, because I'm using this You Are the Greatest as my sentiment for the front. And I just I just really kind of like the, um, the font and the same. So, I'm put that there. Now, we're going to start with um, getting our card, and then we have our top. I'm going to um, run this through the Big Shot with our embossing folder and kind of um, emboss that first. So since this is live, um, I am I am going to uh, let's see. Yeah, since this is live, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do everything right in front of you. Now, um, Beth, yes, those are sequins. And um, thank you for commenting. I'd love to get comments while I'm doing this. So the way you want the, your, uh, or the way I, I'm designing this to go is that I want the flow to kind of go across because I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, put our, um, our fish bowl this way. So it looks kind of like it's, in a, it's on a background of water. Now, I could make it this, um, this way, but it actually kind of, um, it's a little bit too much. This is awfully big to kind of go on the card if it's on this direction. Uh, I guess this is landscape, so it looks better portrait. So that's what I'd recommend, is you kind of go ahead and put, uh, emboss your, your paper like that. So let me go ahead and run that through the big shot. I hope everyone is doing well and your family is doing well, Beth. Um, um, I was in uh, DC for business and uh, I came back to Florida and self quarantined because uh, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't bring anything back and that I was well. I'm in day, probably day 10 or 11 of that and my husband's been very supportive. Everything's fine, my family's fine, but it's just kind of, um, kind of scary times. So I'm kind of doing, um, thinking about doing some evening uh, live videos just to kind of pass the time for myself because it gives me something to look forward to. And then I don't know what you guys are doing. Um, my newsletter is uh, Social Distancing by Crafting. So um, hopefully you uh, this will give you some ideas. Do I put, do you put the open end in first or the other end? Not sure what I understand. If you mean the open end first, if you mean the folder, I put this in here and it, and if you mean what do I put into how I put it in the big shot, it doesn't really matter what, how you put it into the big shot. Um, if that, does that answer your question? Um, let me know if it doesn't and I will, um, I'll try to, uh, to get your, answer your question. This is so cool. It's like having a workshop where I'm getting like real questions and, um, and that's the part I really love. I'm, I'm really kind of, kind of missing that, that, um, a one on one, um, workshop, uh, Experience. Okay, so this is done. So we're going to put that aside, and then we're going to get a piece of uh, of Whisper White. And um, I have some cut right here, so I'm going to get a piece of Whisper White, and this is what I'm going to uh, stamp my our goldfish bowl. Now I'm using. Excuse me for the reach. I'm trying to. My desk is a, is a clutter with all my stamping stuff. I'm going to use my Stamparatus. And let me move this out of the way. My Stamparatus, you can see I already have my stamp here. I've used on the Stamparatus, it has a foam sheet. And this foam sheet is in the, in the catalog. And we, we need it because we're using a photopolymer stamp. And then I put a piece of paper because I just want to protect my, um, my foam. Now there is a 
a backing, a one that comes with a backing, and I didn't, I haven't gotten that, so I'm just kind of um, using this uh, this this uh, paper as a substitute to ensure that everything kind of stays neat. And I'm just kind of kind of center my paper here to make sure that my paper um, is going to uh, is centered correctly to get stamped. And I'm going to add another piece because I want to show you what's kind of cool about the Stamparatus that I didn't do in my other card. Now, um, no, I'm not going to do that. I was going to put this little line, which is this line right here, on my Stamparatus, but the reason why I'm not going to do that is that as, as you can see with the, how much plastic there is, it's really not going to, it's really not going to fit. It's going to block, it's going to block my, um, my, my fishbowl. So, huh, that's not going to work. Now let me find my Memento. I'm using Memento Black ink because I'm going to be using our stamping blends and you always want to use Memento Black ink when you're using an alcohol based um, coloring. You're going to color with an alco alcohol based marker. Now isn't that pretty? That is just that is just lovely. So what I can do with my Stamparatus and let me just clean off my ink so I don't get ink everywhere, is I can take this plate out and I have another plate right here. Your Stamparatus comes with two plates, but you have an option to purchase more. Now I can lay this where I want it on my goldfish bowl, okay? I can put my, my plate in and I can pick it up Okay, there it is. I picked it up and I just want to make sure that I have, I'm going to put that there. See, that's perfect. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to stamp that with, um, with Bermuda Bay ink because I had two samples here. I had one where I did the Bermuda Bay and one that I did the black. I think I like the Bermuda Bay because it looks more like it's the top of water than I do the, the in black. So I've got Bermuda Bay and I'm just going to very carefully just stamp that across and boom, there it is. And I'm just going to leave that and I am done with that. And let me clean my, my, uh, my stamp and set that aside. So that's I'm done with my stamp apparatus. I love that thing. Uh, great investment. All right. So now that I've done that, if um, you're looking at this and saying, oh, I'm looking over here for stamp set. I'm just going to grab one of these and just finish it off here. There you go. And this is just Coastal Cabana in a regular marker. I've got Pool Party here and Stamping Blends. All right. So um, what to do about decorating our nice little goldfish bowl? Let me pull it. Okay. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the, the light pool party and I'm going to use the brush end and we are just going to go across and color this entire thing with this beautiful light pool party. Love this color. Just go across and if you go across like this, it's going to cover nicely and it's going to kind of give you that look of water. Okay. It's very nicely going across. Now I've used this for several cards and I still have ink, so I, I'm really kind of, um, really kind of happy with how the, um, the ink in these has withstood, you know, quite a bit of crafting. I'm then going to take my dark, this is my dark pool party, and I'm just going to kind of go along, 
I'm going to go along here and I'm actually going to kind of go up around my bowl, my bowl. And what I'm trying to create here is the sense that this is a glass bowl and I'm trying to kind of let it look like it's got a little bit of, of dimension there. And I may also just kind of like do that over the top of my, of my water and um, I'm just going to kind of line the top of my uh, glass bowl. Okay. So then I take my light again and then we're just going to do some shading. And again, I'm just going to kind of just go this way because I, I just want to make this look, you know, kind of like a bowl and I've got some, some, uh, um, It kind of creates a little bit of shading there. Can you kind of see how that is? See how pretty that is? Now, because this is glass, I like to use the dark pool party um, under here and kind of put the color a little darker so that it looks like it's it's a uh, a pretty glass fishbowl. Okay, so there we've colored that. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the two stamps from the stamp set, which are the kind of like the, the little sea uh, seaweed here and then this little plant, and I'm going to pull them out and we're going to put them on some little blocks that I have right here. And I should have something equally small. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have my little blocks. I'm going to put those on my little blocks there. And then I'm going to pull out um, a very light, pretty green called seafoam right here. Very, very light. And what we're going to do is, since we're stamping now, I'm going to bring in my... Uh, my piercing mat and I'm going to have to turn it this way so I can kind of see what, what, I'm, what I'm going to be doing. Um, and the other stamp I'm going to need is this stamp right here which is the bottom of the bowl. And that's going to go kind of on a much larger block and I'm going to put this kind of catty corner there and I'm just going to put my my uh, sea foam aside because I'm using Bermuda Bay now and I'm going to just pick up the color and we're going to put this very nicely and since this is photopolymer I can see straight through it and we're just going to stamp it right there. There it is. Isn't that pretty? There's the bottom of our of our bowl using Bermuda Bay. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my sea foam, and I'm first going to start with my um, with my long kind of uh, willowy seaweed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp, and I'm going to kind of put that full there, and then I'm just going to move it um, just a little bit, and then I'm going to stamp off. And it, what it does is it kind of creates a little bit of shadow. Let's do that again over on this side. We're going to stamp and then just move it aside and do a stamp off. Let me pull it in so you can see the neat effect that it creates. So do you see that? It looks like a shadow and it looks like the shadow is on the glass of your fishbowl. Okay? Now if you want to add a little bit of, of uh, kind of change it up because it looks a little bit too symmetrical, just go ahead and ink this half side, this half side of your, of your stamp, just kind of on the corner. And let me show you, I'm trying to see where my camera is so I can show you. Okay. So you can see I have my, my ink pad and I'm just going to ink just the corner, the corner of that stamp is inked. And then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of um, put it right there and see how it kind of gives it a little bit more, a little bit of, of different dimension now. You kind of have 
this small one and then you have a tall one. And I could probably do the same thing and just kind of stamp off a little bit there. So that's kind of a neat little trick to kind of give it a, um, a feel for kind of that uh, illusion of glass. Now we're going to do the same thing with this other stamp and I'm just, just going to stamp this and I could kind of set this deeper into the into my um, into the bottom and let me see how to, I kind of want it off over here to the side so I'm going to stamp and just stamp off and I've got that same nice effect and that's really all I need to do there's no more that has to be done with um, with that bowl. Isn't that pretty? And let me turn it around so you can see it. Isn't, isn't that pretty? Okay, so now we're going to do our fish. So let me show you how we're going to stamp our fish because here's another neat trick to make these fish really turn out kind of cool. Um, I'm going to take all these stamps off right here. Let me put them away because if I don't take them off then um, I'm sure to lose them because I and I'm going to reuse my blocks. So then I have um, two stamps I'm going to use and I'll show you the stamps here in a moment as soon as I get them on the blocks. I am using this fish and this fish. This is a rather large fish so I'm, I'm kind of using because I want to put two fish in the bowl. Okay, and you can see how I've got them um, arranged so they fit perfectly. Okay, so we're going to take our, our Whisper White and we're going to use Calypso Coral and I want you to grab your Stamping Blends a Light Daffodil Delight. And we're going to put that aside because this is how we're going, going to do this. We're simply going to um, stamp um, and I, while I'm doing this, I might as well stamp a couple. So I'm just going to stamp a couple. And the same thing here with the, um, with our other goldfish. And I'm just going to stamp a couple. Now, what I want to show you is that I, is that on my ink pad, I have a, like a really soppy, wet part, and then I have kind of a dry part. This fish was stamped using the soppy wet part, wet part and it really didn't come out very good. So I'm going to stamp it again using the dry part and if you can see the dry part the image comes out a lot better. And Let me pull in so you can see that the image comes out with these distinctive stamps the image comes out a lot better when you use kind of like a, a much drier part of your of your um, stamp pad and you don't um, press that press that uh, stamp into the ink, okay? Um, otherwise, you're gonna just it gets a little soppy, and you don't really see the um, kind of like the detail that you would if you kind of had a much drier stamp. Now, having done that, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our um, light daffodil delight and we're going to use our brush side and I'm just going to go and I'm going to go kind of go around the eyes but it's okay if you color outside the um, outside the uh, lines because I'm going to show you why in a minute and then I'm going to do this guy in here and see that looks very that looks very goldfishy doesn't that it gives it a really nice um, really nice kind of goldfishy look okay because when you fussy cut this um, you will you will have to kind of go around and having the yellow around the over the edge will ensure that when you fussy cut it kind of helps to cover some of that white part that comes that comes um, um, on your on your fish. Let me give you an example. So here's your here's the fish that I cut without going around the edges and it's got kind of a white outline. The way I fix that before putting my fish on my card is I just took 
my yellow, dark yellow daffodil delight, and I just just kind of went around uh, those uh, those white edges. See, and and then um, voila. See that it's done, and now it looks it fits rather nicely on. Let me just get this top part right here. But see that whenever you're cutting something out. Um, so that's a tip for whenever you're using your stamping blends and you're cutting something out and you have to fussy cut, you can cut, go ahead and use your stamping blend to kind of um, uh, disguise that white. All right. Now the last thing we have to do is now that we have these, um, now that we have these cut, I'm taking this neat little gel pen, and I think I used this in another, in another video, but I'm going to take the gel pen, and what I'm going to do is, I'm, and I'm going to test it over here on just on the side, but this is how I'm going to do their eyes. Just a little dab of gel, and you can see how neat that comes out. You just depress depress the um, pen and the gel comes out and look at that isn't that just cute that is just so cute see that okay so um this goes aside to make sure that the gel dries but you know ta-da i already have um i already have two little fishies cut here for you and this one i'm going to have to take my my thing and just make sure I get this kind of disguise my white over here because I didn't get a chance to do it but this was before I had that other little tip for you so there you go you get a uh, good tip for when you're fussy cutting isn't that cute now this one isn't as um, distinctive but it's still I think it still turns out rather rather well okay so we have our two, we have our two fit, um, little goldfish. We're going to put them right here, and um, and what did I do with my goldfish bowl? Uh, hold on, I got to find. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is my goldfish bowl. Now this is going to go on the top. So this is going to have to be fussy cut, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right along my black line and if I were going into production and I've already made like maybe this is what my um, third wobble card but my my fifth um, make a splash card I would use um, my uh, my cutter that is it my scan and cut. I love that thing. I would use my scan and cut. I'd stamp a whole bunch of these. I'd color them and um, I'd use my scan and cut uh, since there isn't a die that goes with this set. So I'm a lot like Amy. If you're on my Stamping Fusion, it's a private site, but we share ideas and tips and cards. And that's where all my cards I share first before I make any videos. In fact, I ask some of my peeps what they what do they want to see a video on and they give me some feedback okay same issue here with the white around the edge no problem you can do one of two things you can take uh, you can use you know another uh, stamping blend but I like to use this black basic black marker in black and what I do again this is a good tip for any time you uh you fussy cut is i take this all the way around the edge and look that white edge goes away so that that's going to look so pretty against that that knight of navy so here's another tip when you're fussy cutting and you've got a little bit of um of white and you did the best you could just go ahead and and you know use use a marker to just kind of go around and just kind of clean up those edges and look at that 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 looks absolutely marvelous you don't see any white now around that um, around that uh, fishbowl right okay so there's another tip so now 
I have my fish bowl. I have my fish. This guy's going this way. This guy's going that way. And um, I think I'm going to use, just to kind of change it up, I think I'm going to use a little bit of this color. I just kind of want to kind of change up there. That looks a little better. Um, this is just simply a Tombow marker that I use. It's um, 990 and it's a soft color. You could probably use a um, crumb cake, but I use this to outline my cards or my figures and I'm, I'll show you a card where I've used it. This is a trick this little guy here, and I'll pull in so you can get kind of what I did here. Let me try to focus it. Let me just lay that down so it can focus. Okay, is it going to focus on me? Okay. Sorry, it's kind of moving, but do you see how it, it kind of, you outline any figure that you stamp on white and it kind of just makes it pop up from the page. Uh, something I learned in architecture school when we were doing um, figures. So there you go, there's another tip for you. Let's move back out and keep going. Okay, so we've got that and we have this. We have our little, um, so the next thing we're going to need is I'm going to need a piece of um, Knight of Navy and I did have some over here somewhere. Again, hang with me. I'm live. Anything can happen when I'm live. Um, oh. oh, here it is. So I already embossed a couple of these. You are the greatest. I used Knight of Navy and some... Um, some white embossing powder and I wanted to show you how really cool this itty bitty little cutter is. You can get this neat little mini cutter if you join my team until uh, you have until um, 31 March if you're looking to join for I always encourage people to join to join for the discount. Um, I don't I don't pressure you to sell. But look at that! Isn't that isn't that cool? It just cleanly cuts. Um, your paper, voila! And look at that! I want to make sure I have this lined up, and it has really nice um, markings to make sure that you get this. Uh, lined up right. Okay, so I've got You Are the Greatest, and I'm going to just kind of cut this, oh, right about there. Okay. Now I'm also going to have to take, and I'm just going to take this piece of scrap here, I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White, and I'm going to lay the Whisper White right um, under this, and I'm going to use my little mini cutter right here. And let me see if I can get this aligned. I'm just going to kind of line that up like that and say, okay, that's the way I want it. And actually, while I'm figuring this out, I think I want it to go this way, okay, because I like this edge is straight. This is the edge I need to cut that needs to be straight. All right. So I'm just going to put that right there. And it's got this, you know, some nice lines right there. Okay, that looks like it's a little too thick. So we're going to go just a little bit thinner. And I think that is pretty much perfection. And then I'm going to cut just a little bit of edge there. And there we go, using my little mini cutter. So now I have that as so. So now we're going to turn this into a pennant. So let me grab my 
scissors. And the way we're going to turn this into a pennant very easily is we're just going to um, cut into this corner going to the center and cut into this corner going to the center and we're done. And then I'm going to lay this right on top of here and I'm going to do the same thing with this laid on top here. I'm just going to cut this going into the center and I'm going to cut this going into the center. Okay. And then you kind of meet that in the middle. And there you go. So now we have our pennant, our little flag here. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my Tombow glue. Just dot, 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 dot. And we're just going to put that one right there like that. Okay. So how do you like that? And that's what I like about the glue is that you can actually kind of move it around a little bit to, um, to make sure that you kind of get it to fit. So that looks pretty good to me. So this is going to go right there. And that's going to go right there. Then the last piece we're going to need, and we're just going to pull this out for now, is I'm going to use this, um, this lovely copper trim. And you're going to cut about that much, okay? Just lay it over your card and cut that much. Okay. And we're going to set that aside because the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to start um, putting our card together. So what I like to do is go ahead and, the, and um, let's um, place our Knight of Navy on our base card with a little bit of Tombow glue. Okay. I like the Tombow glue. I used to really use a snail all the time and I would watch a lot of videos where a lot of the my favorite crafters would just use Tombow and I just didn't get it. But I guess after you've been doing it for a couple of years, um, you're kind of at the place where you do things a little bit faster and you kind of find you know what works for you and that's certainly something that works for me. So. Uh, yes, I do. I do love. I do love uh, Tombow. So now let's go ahead and put our little, our little uh, fishy fishes on our, um, our uh, fish bowl. So I'm going to use. I'm going to pulling out the regular, regular size, and then I'm pulling out some, some minis. And I like to apply. I like to apply them with a. Exacto blade, and I just go ahead and put one here, and put one right there, um, and the same here. I'm gonna put one in the kind of the nose, and then right back here in the body. You could put one on the fin if you wanted to. I do have little slices here where I've kind of sliced up little pieces, but I really. Um, I've made a couple of these and I, I really don't don't uh, I don't think it's really that big of a deal. Okay, so the first one I'm going to put is this guy. So let's put him down. And I like to put him right kind of right between in this area right here. So he's going to go right there. And then this this guy is going to go kind of right right there. So there you go, you see? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over because I'm going to grab my wobble. Now these wobbles are available in Amazon. I have the link if you go to my blog for a previous card that I made with wobbles. I love these things. As I said, I'm making these cards for kids. So I really want, um, I bought a couple of packs because I, um, 
I wanted to, to make a bunch of wobble cards. I think that would be delightful. Okay, so what you do when you get the wobble um, is that it's got two ends. It's kind of got this donut end here, and then it's got this flat end. This flat, smooth end, this is the side that goes on the piece of the card that's going to wobble, okay? And it's you don't want to pull this apart too much because you want this plastic to be able to kind of fold. See how nicely it folds flat? And if you pull it, then you're going to you're going to lose that shape and you're going you might kind of um, make it kind of go cattywampus. And then when you put put your card on it, it's not going to be flat. It's going to be like off to the side. So you don't want that. So just very carefully just kind of bend it and grab the edge or take an exacto blade and then just kind of grab that edge so you kind of keep it flat and pull pull that off and then again grab that edge or and be careful because it is sticky might be easier now that I pulled it. Yeah, there we go. And you pull it off. So now you have your 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 side ready to be adhered to the back of your card, your cardstock. So I'm just going to put it, and you could put it here, you could put it there. I'm going to put it a little bit down because then what that does is when you wobble it, look, it kind of goes, you know, back and forth. So I'm just going to press press that very nicely there. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and um, just lay that there for now because the next piece I want to put on is my pennant. And in order to kind of make sure I know where I want to put these, I'm going to um, do this next step. And I'm just going to take this uh, I wish I had this remotely so I didn't have to keep touching my camera. I'm just going to spread this apart with my nails, which need to be done, but I've canceled all my nail appointments because coronavirus. So my nails may get scary in the in the coming uh, in the coming weeks. Anyway, you just kind of want to separate that. What I like about this is that it, it's going to. I want it to look kind of like a, you know, kind of like a fishnet kind of kind of give it that kind of vibe and I want to kind of separate these ends kind of open up I want to open up the this this part here let me turn this around so you can kind of see what I'm talking about see I kind of want to open that up and then I want to kind of want to open up this side You kind of see how 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 that is. I'm lay lay it down, and um, then this I'm going to straighten out the middle because that's how I'm going to put it on my pennant. But I'm going to keep this kind of flared out as much as I can. It even seems to be easier when um, uh, you do it like this. And I have to agree with you, Beth. Um, I've had cards that I've made and I put them up in my little display area because I'm like working on it and then I come back and I find that things have fallen off my card. So yes, I am a Tombow enthusiast. Now you see these kind of loose, it's kind of stringy pieces. I just kind of cut them off because um, I kind of like that, like I said, kind of that that's scraggly. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put this like this, and it doesn't quite cover it, so we're going to have to stretch this out like this, and then it will, that's, that's the look I want. I want that to be kind of scraggly like that, okay? If you stretch this whole thing and expected it to be stretched all through, you would have to use about twice as much ribbon. So that's why I'm trying to, to show you a way to conserve some of this um, this copper, copper trim. So 
What I'm going to do next is here I'm going to use snail bath. I'm going to use snail here only because what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of lay that right there and pick this up and then I, like I said I'm just going to stretch make sure that stretches out and the same goes here where I stretch I'm going to stretch that out then isn't that pretty? Oh, I think that's so pretty. It, it could also look like fins. Again, when you get these kind of loose pieces here, just um, just trim them off. Just just trim it. Okay, because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my dimensionals, which you're never in fear of them not sticking. These things are wonderful. And I'm just going to kind of put my dimensionals over my trim like that so that I can put this on my card. Look at that, isn't that pretty? So let's turn this around and let's figure out where everything's gonna go. Okay, this is gonna go here and this is gonna go there. Okay, let me back out so I can show you how I placed it. Let me turn it around so that you can see. So it's gonna go, ta-da. So let's go ahead and place the bottom first. Taking off my backings. And thank you. I'm glad it looks I'm glad it looks great. And we're just going to put that right Yeah, right there. Okay? I'm doing it upside down, so I sure sure hope it's straight, Beth. Okay, then I'm going to take this, and here's the tricky part. I'm gonna grab my X-Acto, and I'm gonna come up behind here, and I'm just gonna stick this blade underneath this piece, and I'm gonna pull that up, and there you go. Then I'm gonna place this wherever I think it's gonna go, and I think that's perfect. And then I'm gonna just hold that down like that and there you go now we're not done because I'm gonna come in here we have to do the last part my favorite part I am using the um, fine tip glue fine tip glue with that kind of neat nozzle that if you don't put this top on then all your glue dries and I'm going to put some bubbles. So we're gonna put a bubble. And what I always do when I do my fine tip glue and I'm gonna use it for clear is I always just squeeze it first because always the first squeeze has bubbles in it. And I don't want that. I want the, I want the next one to be, see, a solid bubble. So never uh, squeeze to apply clear um, first time. Okay, so I'm gonna put a bubble there. I'm gonna put a bubble there, and then I'm gonna put a bubble there, and a bubble there, and a bubble there. There we go. How about that? What do you think? Do you think I need one more bubble? What do you think? What do you think, Beth? Do you think I need one more bubble? I'm waiting for Beth to answer because there's a bit of a delay. You think I need more bubbles? All right, I'm gonna put another bubble because I see yes on Beth's thing. So here it goes, Beth. I'm gonna test it, make sure I have a thing. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna put another bubble right there. Ah, perfection. I think we got it. I think we nailed it. All right, let me put my, let me put my thing back. All right, so there you go. Let's move out here and um, uh, you have, um, you have the, uh, 
outside of your card. So I would need that to dry, but to do the inside of the card, let me just pull a piece of uh, Whisper White here because I can always put this inside the card, right? And um, that's uh, that's easy breezy. I showed you how we're gonna we're gonna stamp that fish, and let's use the fish that we didn't use. How about that? So let me let me go over here and pull. We're letting my bubbles dry. And we're gonna stamp our, our sentiment in the inside of the card, uh, just because I have a few minutes, and. Um, there are bubbles in this in this uh, stamp set, but I like it better when we make our own bubbles. Okay, because this is kind of an interesting um, this is kind of an interesting um, uh, figure. If if you're, I panicked the first time I stamped this because I thought there was something wrong with it. I thought I got a um, I got something um, a defective stamp. Okay. So what I did again, we're gonna we're gonna take this, and um, we're gonna use that dry part, right? We're gonna use that dry part of our of our stamp, of our ink pad, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right here. Okay. So at first at first um, inspection, all right. Um, you might notice that my, my, my verbal acuity is much better in the evening than it is when I do these on Saturday morning. One, because I've worked all day and I, I am, <laughs> I'm awake than when I try to make my videos on Saturday, Saturday morning. So, um, now do you see that? Do you see how this stamp looks like? Let me pull it out so we can focus right. You see how that looks a little, I think that looks a little funky. Let me turn it around so you can see it. You see how that you're like, oh my God, what happened to my stamp? It, it looks like I'm missing. No, it's not because the magic happens when we take our Daffodil Delight Light Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color, and this time you don't want to color outside the lines, right? You don't want to color outside the lines. You want to keep it, but look at that. Now it's looking more fishy-like. Then I'm going to take my dark stamping blends for the, um, and I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of shading here. And I might even look, I might even do that a little bit, all right? And then I'm going to take my gel pen and um, I'm gonna test it over here on a piece of paper. And then I'm just gonna go boop. And look at that, there's a little eye, he looks so cute. And now I'm going to demonstrate what I meant when I said I take my pen here and I'm going to outline it and you can see me how I'm outlining that. And it's an ever so faint outline, but it's going to make your figure pop. And people don't know, look at that. People, when they see it, they're like, oh my gosh, that looks, and it's just a very, very, very subtle. Now, I'm gonna have to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing because my sentiment is going to be and I just messed it up because I I touched it but we're going to fix it and I'm going to show you how I, I'm big on I'm big on fixing stuff so I'm going to take my black pen and I'm just going to go there. I mean, it's good enough. Ah, there it is. Then I'm going to take my, um, my bubbles and I'm going to grab 
I'm gonna grab balmy blue over here and I'm just going to do there you go just keep on swimming kind of mess that up but hey and that's going to go on the inside of my card once my once my um, once my bubbles dry so let me pull out there you go um, wonderful little wobble card when I put the wobble at the bottom so it kind of goes like that my other wobble cards are more or less in the center so they kind of spin round so you can kind of see uh, kind of how you can kind of play with them and I think I have one more wobble card yep here it is so I've done three wobble cards um, I just love this. Uh, thank you for joining me for this Stamp Art Connection li live. Hopefully I'll do another one um, later on this week. Let me know if you have any uh, ideas of what you want to see because I'm, uh, I'm uh, quarantined and uh, playing it safe and I am at your service. This is Stamp Art Connection. StampArtConnection.com, Cat Chancellor. Thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.